What's up guys, Joe again from Grotto House Grotto, and I am back with a special unboxing today. Uh, I got a little mystery box here that I want to share with you all. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive right into what I got. Alright, so I went ahead and pretty much just pre-opened these things just to make it a little bit easier. Um, still haven't checked out what's inside these boxes. I know what they are, but I want to kind of give this surprise to everybody. Um, first thing, let's go ahead and just reveal what's inside this box. Alright, these are VHS protectors, okay? Um, I ordered 50 of them. I've been really steadily collecting VHS tapes now for about six months and I'm starting to get a lot of them and I want to kind of maintain the condition of them so I went ahead and bought 50 protectors for them. Uh, not every single one of my VHS tapes is going to be in a protector but just some of the, the more obscure ones, a little bit harder to find. Eventually if I get a little extra money I'll just put them all in, in protectors but for now these are enough to protect the ones that I, I really dig a lot, the ones that are you know super collectible. So yeah, got those. <clears throat> All right, next up, let's go ahead and just jump right in. Ah, I was so excited to get this today. I am, oh, I am so so excited to get this. It's one of my favorite series, my favorite horror series. These are VHS tapes. I got three of them. So I've got Day of the Dead, George Romero. Really awesome. Let's go ahead and just kind of show you all that. Then the back there. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, it's not in brand new condition, but it is in very good condition. I would say it's uh, it's got a couple of nicks in the corners, but for the most part, it's uh, it's in it's in probably an excellent condition. I don't know how they they grade these things, but pretty cool. I got the Night of the Living Dead. I uh, know they have several versions of this. Um, this is public domain, so basically anybody can make this and distribute it uh, without having to purchase the rights of the film. So, I, I mean, there's so many different releases of this. This one actually is from Good Times Home Video, and it was put out in 1990. I thought the cover art on that was pretty cool. And then the back there. It says the original uncut and unedited classic. That's pretty cool. This is in pretty similar condition to the other one. I bought this as a lot. Now, this is awesome. I love the case for this. I like it as a hard case. And this is George Romero's anniversary edition of Dawn of the Dead. And it is signed by George Romero. Pretty cool stuff there. And then on the back. So it's pretty cool that this has actually got its own hard case. I don't have to uh, put it in a protective sleeve. I like that a lot. Um, it looks to be in very good condition. So this will definitely be uh, a display piece. I want to display all three of these together. All right, so those are the VHS tapes that I got. Now, I'm going to go ahead and when I reveal this, I'm just going to go ahead and show you all the... Uh, I guess you could say the uh, you, the eBay channel, the eBay shop where I purchased this from. And this guy, I bought some stuff from him in the past. He sells a lot of different things. But I'll go ahead and just kind of plug him. Scott's Variety Shop. Now you can find a lot of his stuff on, um, you can find a lot of his stuff on eBay. But he also does have a website if you want to order from his website. <clears throat> He's also, uh, you can e email him directly. So I will go ahead and put his information in the um, description box if you're interested in ordering anything from him. But yeah, let me go and show you what I picked up from him. All right. So, I ordered posters. Now, some of you all know I've got some posters in the background. I've got them all over my, uh, my space in here. So I've been purchasing a lot of these from this particular seller for a long time. He's got a really good reputation. He's really fast 
So when you order this stuff, I mean, he gets it gets it to you within days, which is really cool. Uh, he he sells all of his 11 by 17s in these really hard plastic protective sleeves. So you don't you don't have to go out and buy frames. They're already in a little sleeve. You can you can stick a um, a thumbtack right through the plastic part of it and not damage the poster at all, which I really dig. I don't have to spend additional money on anything. You know, you can put it up as is, and it, 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 these things are, will really protect the poster. So first up, the original Night of the Living Dead, George Romero. Just an awesome poster. I really love that a lot. Pretty cool. And these are in no particular order. Um, Sleep Away Camp. So I've been really wanting to get this one to kind of add to my sla uh, slasher collection posters. I dig the hell out of this movie. Um, I tried to find posters for the other two, for Sleepaway Camp 2 and Sleepaway Camp 3, but I can't find them in this size, and I really want to keep, just keep buying the 11 by 17s It just makes it a lot easier when you're putting these things up. You don't, you're not using up a lot of space. And I got the 1990 George Romero, Tom Savini remake of Night of the Living Dead. I know a lot of people, you know, didn't think this film was very good. I, I like it. And I think it's kind of similar to uh, Day of the Dead, where, you know, when it first got released, there was a lot of criticism of the films. But over time, these films have kind of gotten a cool following, and people seem to enjoy them a lot more. I'm kind of in that camp. I think when it first got released, you know, we liked the original more, but... As I've watched it over the years, I actually do enjoy this movie a lot. <clears throat> now, I was debating whether to get this, uh, to try to hunt down the Scream Factory poster for this. But I actually prefer the original poster art for this better, and that is Motel Hell. It also fits into what I have going on in my space. I don't want to be, like, filling them up with really big posters because then you're kind of limited to what you can do. So this one is really good. It's 11 by 17. I like that poster art. I think that's pretty cool. I, I freaking love this film. I can't wait. I'm going to do a review of this soon. Uh, I'm kind of holding off on some of the films that uh, that I like a real lot because I kind of want to plan this out. Not to say that I'm reviewing films I don't like right now, but I'm new to YouTube and I haven't been doing reviews that long and I feel like I want to wait until I can put out the best possible product. So I'm going to watch some of these films that I really like a lot. I want to watch several times and really do the best possible review that I can before I actually put out a review because you only get one shot to share your thoughts on a film. Um, it's not like I'm going to do a review of one movie and then a couple years later do it do, do the same review again, but just you know my new thoughts on it. I don't want to do that. I want to do it one time and do it well. So the films that I know that I know a lot, I know real well, I'm kind of doing those now. Some of the films that I do like a lot, but maybe they're more complex or I just enjoy them a lot more, I'm kind of holding off on. All right, let me kind of put these in order. Okay, so I think they're in order, basically, upside down. All right, Jaws. I love Jaws. I love the entire series. This is just a classic film. Who doesn't love Jaws? I mean, just look at that post, post art. When Shark Week comes around every year, I love watching anything shark related. I always rewatch re the Jaws films. Um, there's other shark movies that I really dig a lot. Uh, but I love the, the Jaws series, so I had to get this poster. Next up, can't have Jaws without having Jaws 2. Just another awesome poster art. Really cool stuff here. These are all the you know theatrical posters of the films. Honestly, I love Jaws, but out of the Jaws series, I think Jaws 2 is my favorite out of all the Jaws films. I don't know what it is about this film. Um, I think it's just a little bit more graphic, a little bit more violent of a film, and I'm a sucker for really, you know, bloody just gory films so i think jaws 2 is is very good like the original but i think they stepped their game up a little bit with jaws 2 and i, I dig that and I, I do like um roy schneider his character in this film and i love that they brought him back i was kind of disappointed that they didn't bring him back for the other films but i mean what are you going to do you can't just keep dra dragging old characters back so i mean i understand i'm not 
I'm not upset that they didn't bring him back, but it would have been cool to have his character in the other films as well. Now, okay, this is this is it. This one, I love this cover art. This was actually a teaser poster for Jaws 2. Look at that freaking cover art there. This isn't the theatrical poster. This was like a teaser poster that came out when they were still like in the production of the film. So before they even released a the trailer, they gave this like little teaser poster. God, that is so awesome. I actually prefer this over the, over the original um, poster art. But I'm going to display both of them. And since Jaws 2 is my favorite out of all of them, uh, I'm, I, had to get this, I had to get this one. And it's the only uh, actual teaser poster art that I could find for the other Jaws films. This was the only one I could find. Um, Jaws 3D. Pretty cool stuff there. I dig it. I don't know if I necessarily like the whole 3D writing in the background. I wish they would have just kept the, the Jaws 3. Um, and had it be like the original font from the other films, keep it kind of consistent. I mean, I know that was the big draw to this movie was that it was in 3D, but I prefer the other font over this this font. I mean, it still looks cool to me. And then last but not least, Jaws the Revenge. Pretty cool film all around. I don't mind it. I know it's the last film in the series, and you know at that point people were kind of getting over Jaws; they were kind of burned out. But I love all the films. I just love shark movies. That co-star is pretty simple, but you know it's kind of a throwback to the first film. If you didn't see the revenge there, you would think that it was the first, the poster art for the first one. Pretty cool stuff there. This time it's personal. Alright guys, uh, I got a few other things too, and um, part of the reason why I opened these packages up ahead of time is because I bought some stuff for my girlfriend, and I, want, I didn't want to have that included and mixed in, and I had to like dig through her stuff to get to my stuff. So I kind of um, pulled up, I just quickly pulled some stuff out without, you know, revealing too much of what was inside the box, and I kind of wanted to give myself a little bit of, a, of an awe moment, just like you all are seeing my stuff for the first time. But anyways, guys, uh, go check out Scott's Variety Shop. This guy's awesome. His posters are really good. They're really crisp, very colorful. Um, I, I mean, these are, you know, really cool cases that they come in. Uh, like I said, you save a lot of money doing it this way. Anyways, guys, uh, check him out on eBay and on his website. I'll, like said, I'll go ahead and put his information in my um, description box. If you like what you saw today, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to my channel and you like the content, please subscribe for future content. Um, yeah, guys, drop me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are on this haul that I had. What do you like out of it? All right, guys, until next time, take it easy.